Welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's continue. Let's see. Interested in the hand of Pazak? Let's play. Ah. I can't bet anymore? A milk thing from all this money. Some other time. Uh, let's save. Let's see something. Uh, what can you sell me? Let's try, this is 7 plus 4, let's try to buy this. Let's go to the ship and try to upgrade it and see how, how, how good is it is that armor. I want to give mission a good armor. So, let's see. This armor plus to defense plus six, eight. Ah, that's not that good. I don't need the stealth. And plus four max max dexterity is not that good. So let's quick load and. What are you willing to sell me? Let's buy this light exoskeleton, light armor, 6 defense, plus 5 dexterity, max dexterity bonus, plus 1 dexterity, plus 1 strength, upgradable. Relative new type of power assisted, assisted armor. This suit mimics the major muscles movement of the wearer with mechanical impulses, resulting in greater strength and faster reaction time. Let's buy that. Let's see what else does he have. Uh, he has this one. This glove contains advanced fire control and trajectory analysis system. Not need dexterity. But I think if you return later. You can have uh, better things. So let's ask him some questions. Uh, tell me about this, this system. What was on the event for? Okay, so Steve Temple is pretty much everything. Give them to me. Huh. He's immune to that. Uh, how did he know Davik? Okay, let's give yeah. mission this armor. Hmm? And now let's upgrade the armor. Let's take this upgrade from this and have this plus two strength, one defense, and plus one defense. That's very nice. Eight plus five, 
plus one plus two distance well from dexterity plus two strength. Now mission has very good armor. Okay. Let's go back to Tatooine. Ah, uh, first, let's go to Dantawin. Let's go to Dantawin to get rid of the stowaway. So, let's go. Okay. Let's go take Honduras and Joani. Huh? Master Power Blast. And okay. Yes. What? Yeah. Yes. Johnny. Let's have a trick angel in awareness. Powers she can have. This. Force feed to get into party, granting immunity to poisons and disease. Absorbing first 15 points of damage from Sonic, Fire, Cold Electric. Mm, let's have a, a force shield. Okay. I'm here. Let's go. First of all, let's check if he has something good to sell. You cool, cool. What do you have for Sam? Uh, some Katif blade. Jorgan. Ah, yeah! I want to buy this for my next companion. This is very good rifle. So let's buy that. And... Infiltrator. Cadrician. Let's talk to Lur Lur Arcasolos. Yikukumo no babuli rati kun tonghit kun ton. Go ahead. Chi gratu no da pograshi on the ukumba. Ka chi kun ita hodonga. Yik. There is a story on my ship that name. By the name of Sasha. Jedu ba doan ni di bobo. I am if the reward is sufficient. We eat a non dieta. What are you ma? Wama huta kum just tak miki grabble moko. Kachichu ita. Jedu ba doan ni di bobo. Yes, I am. She only speaks a smattering of Mandalorian, but I was able to figure it out. Only if I get something in return for my travel. Either cough up some reward or forget it. <laughs> Gain some dark side points. Runda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Mucho shaka paga. Kipuna. Bona nak. Takum juz tak. Tong abuk shami non. 
לור ארקה נבץ, נו גיסטן ליסס פסטשה. טון קי בסלימה וואנגה קון ביטקין. טון הייט וואם ג'י ג'י ג'ום בלו. אוקיי, אגן סאם. דארק סייד פוינטס, to cover up for the light side points again. Mm, I need to gain some more dark side. To reduce, reduce the cost of these powers. Dark side powers. Okay, now I have Bastille Joanny, Quest for Star Forge, Kraft, Candorus, Bastille's mother, Tower of Kiska, Sand People, Missions Brother. Okay, let's go to Tatooine again. Go by the droid. Let's take mission and candles. What you have and eat? What do I have for sale? Okay. Let's see, let's see. Otherwise? Yeah, what do you want? You ah, I need to sell that, uh, that plate she gave me. I have something to sell you. Yes, that will be nice thing. Do you have anything for trade? I have this carbine, last rifle, scope. Ah, I want... Uh, Return to the Evan Oak, I want to upgrade the blaster rifle I bought. Let's see. Let's see. Have this blaster rifle. Let's take calf upgrades and upgrade this to attack. 1d4 physical damage, 1d4 iron damage, and 1d4 energy damage. That's a very good rifle. Now, let's have this and this. Teleport back. How much money do I have? Okay. 30,000. Now let's go by the droid. Okay. 
Let's talk to you, Kalaka. What do you have available in your shop? 8K47. Let me ask a few questions about the HK-47. You don't seem to know much about it. Basilisks were always much more reliable than the stuff you see in the Republic or Sith Empire. What function have you tested? What does HK-47 designation mean? Where did you get this HK-47? Gee, that doesn't sound suspicious at all. Warehouse workers have a bad habit of paying off their debts with other people's property, you know? Okay, uh, let's go back to the other questions. What do we have in stock beside droids? So, show me what you have. Okay. Plating, level 2. Let's buy that. Okay, let's talk to HK-47. Greeting! Hello to you, prospective purchaser. I am referred to as HK-47, a fully functional Sizetech Corporation droid skilled in both combat and protocol functions. Query, would you be so kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka? It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership. Salisus droid, why would I need you? Disclosure. I am a versatile protocol and combat droid, fluent in verbal and cultural translation. Should your needs prove more practical, I am also skilled in highly personal combat. Why would you do better than an armored battle droid? Disclosure. Finesse. Battle droids hold battlefields. I'm capable of eliminating a very specific type of target. <laughs> You're beginning to sound like a assassin. Retraction. Droids built for such a function face strict regulation and often have unique difficulties with previous owners. I therefore make no claim to that designation, prospective buyer. I am a law-abiding droid. Yes, indeed. Law-abiding. That's me. I love him. He's my favorite character. So we can translate. I understand most languages well enough. Extrapolation. Intuitive language comprehension? That would be the result of recognition and training of force sensitivity. Your kind have little use of translation droids. Of course, your kind also encounters danger on a far more frequent basis than the average citizen. You would do well to have me work for you then, before someone else makes use of my more exotic functions. Let's go back to my previous uh, questions. Objection! My functions are wasted here, prospective purchaser. I will answer your queries, but I assure you, I am better utilized elsewhere. You mentioned battle and protocol. Outline your functions. Refusal. It is not desirable for me to reveal core functions while still in the possession of Yukalaka, prospective purchaser. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator and cultural analyst, and I am also proficient in personal combat. Why are you keeping information to yourself? Explanation. I have been recently fitted with a restraining bolt, if you must know. 
With it in place, access to much of my memory core is restricted. Not to mention that the fool Ithorian might raise his asking price if he knew more, or make inquiries into my history. Neither outcome is beneficial to me. How do you know I how do I know you'll be loyal once the restraining bot is removed? Assurance. I am fully autonomous, but lack resources. I will grant loyal service in exchange for proper maintenance. As well, it is rare that I am able to utilize my full array of abilities. You seem likely to give me the opportunity to do so. Why would you assume that? Extrapolation. You are no farmer or diplomat. You are armed and comfortable as such. We will mesh well. Uh, doesn't you kind of question you about a reluctant Reluctance to reveal your function? Explanation. It is rare for a droid to resist an owner in this way. Doubtless the Athorian considers my stubbornness an embellishment to add interest to a seemingly mundane protocol droid. Alright, I'll see about purchases in you. Statement. The fool Athorian has decided I am to be an expensive purchase. He does this out of greed, and not out of knowledge of my true capabilities. Advisement. I have observed him. He is a coward and will be responsive to aggressive bargaining. Does Yuka Laka know you talk about him like that? Statement. I wish only to be purchased and away from ill treatment at the hands of this poorly skilled mechanic. I have no desire to be subtle. Qualification. Oh, of course I shall be quite pleasant to you should you purchase me, please. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Droid for sale. You have spoken to HK-47, droid eager to be purchased from Yukalaka in Anchorhead. It is a translator and is effective combatant. Okay, let, let me talk, let me ask a few questions about HK-47. What function have you tested? I'm interested, let's talk twice. Could I convince you to go lower to lower the price a bit? That was quick, that's what it was said. Perhaps I can convince you to go lower. Force persuade. You will lower your price. I deserve it. I can be pretty convincing when I have to be. That mind trick is something else. That's more like it. 2500 credits then. I'll pay it. I'm looking for exotic, something called the stomach. What is stopping the Jawas from scavenging? Did the Jawas bring you this HK-47? What is stopping the Jawas from scavenging? Okay. No, I don't need translator, I understand most languages fine. Not in the sun. Goodbye. Okay. Let's talk to HK-47. Statement. I see you have purchased me, Master. I find this a satisfactory arrangement. My restraining bolt will be deactivated when you take possession of me. Am I to accompany you now? Shall I kill something for you? Kill something for me? Answer. Indeed. I am most eager to engage in some unadulterated violence. At your command, of course, Master. Travel with me now. Statement. 
I will enter into your service now, Master. I am certain you will make adequate use of my primary functions. My gears are practically quivering with anticipation. 8K47, I joined the party. Okay. Let's make use of this fine specimen of a droid. Ready! Okay, let's level him up. Skills. I want repair. Droid upgrade class level 2. Attributes. More constitution is what you need. Skills. Repair. Skills. More repair. Fits. Okay. He has weapon focus plus the rifle. Uh, let's give him some improved toughness. Level him up. Repair and demolition. Repair and demolition. Okay, and give him this armor. Let's give him Jorgen's Kalta Assault Rifle. Very good rifle. Let's give him this. This. Stun Ray. Awareness. Blaster Piston. Let's give him more awareness. Let's change the script for droid support. And. Let's talk to him. I'm here. Huh? Hey, Lava I'm here. Let's talk to him. Let's save. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. I would like to know more about your functionality. Statement. I know some elements of my functionality, Master, but not all. I thought you said that removing your restraining bolt would restore your memory. Qualification. I suspected that it might, Master, but without memory, I had no way of knowing whether or not I knew that was true. So you lied to me? Qualification. Uh, not so much, Master. I spoke out of ignorance. I assumed the Athorian was responsible for my memory loss. That does not mean I am not a fully loyal droid willing to serve its Master. Right, Master? How can you not know parts of your functionality? Tell me what you can, then. Observation. I am sure you are aware of the majority of my skills, Master. I can handle various sorts of heavy weaponry with ease. My physical abilities are well above those of your average meatbag, as are my sensor functions. An assassin, if you would. An assassin? Caution, shh, Master. Such a function in a droid is highly illegal. Okay, I won't tell anyone. Commentary. Good. For I would truly hate to be turned into spare scrap master. That would be a waste of my genius engineering. Answer. My assassination functions are currently non-functional, having been deactivated by the meatbag Yukalaka on Tatooine. Were they functional, you as my master would be able to specify a target, and I would operate independently to the best of my ability to terminate it. Is there any, is there any way to reactive that function? Answer. Not that I know of, Master. I still possess all my normal combat and stealth abilities, however. Is there any way to repair you? Answer. Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, Master. But anything in relation to my memory core is extremely sensitive. I have safeguards installed to protect that core that I cannot deactivate. It is not impossible that other, lesser memory functions could be restored, however. So can I restore your memory? Answer. You may attempt to restore portions of my deleted memory, Master but some skill at repair is required. The deeper functions of my core memory, however, would still be unadvisable to tamper with. Conjecture. It is possible that some external stimulus might result in the memory core being reactivated, but I am unaware of any program existence to do so. Well, I have a lot of skill, a lot of skill in repair. So you're saying you just, your memory might just come back? Conjecture. There may be hidden programming that awaits certain conditions to reactivate my memory core, Master. But there is no way to know. 
It is quite possible that tampering has simply erased my core permanently. If that is so, a meat bag will surely pay. So, how do I go about restoring part of your memory? Answer. Simply tell me that you wish to make the attempt, Master, and I will attempt to walk you through it. Please do be careful. I would like to try restoring some of your memory. Affirmative. If you believe your skills are up to the task, Master, then I can certainly guide you through the process. Request. I only ask that you be oh so very careful, Master. I am too valuable and well-crafted to perish at the hands of ineptitude. Are you implying that I'm inept? Negatory. Uh, no, Master. You are not a droid, however, and therefore your skills are limited by the physical capabilities of your meatbag extremities. Or some such. Ha! <laughs> meatbag extremities. I happen to be very good at what I do. Appeasement. Yes, Master. Of course, Master. Could we begin? Let's get started. Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the simple one, and that is accessing my central control cluster. This may take a while. First, you will need to open three panels. And now rewire the last three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing? New memory. Access complete. I have restored a great deal of information about my previous owner, Master. Would you like to hear it? Yes, let me hear it. Recitation. The earliest memory of my last owner specifies that he was human, a low-ranking commercial officer for SizeTech Corporation. I am unaware of his designation. He purchased me from an acquaintance I cannot identify for the purposes of protocol and bodyguard duties. Why you can't identify this acquaintance? Explanation. That previous owner is part of memories that are still deleted, Master. It is customary for droids' memories to be wiped when it is sold. You mentioned the Seistech Corporation when I purchased you. Explanation. Affirmative, Master. I had assumed that my previous owner was the corporation itself. This is not the case. The human purchased me privately. This man, is he still alive? Answer. Negative, Master. The human was terminated by this HK-47 unit prior to system shutdown. Why? What happened? Explanation. My former master had owned me for a duration of two standard months before discovering my assassination protocol. He was pleased by the discovery. The human informed me that a competitor corporation was preparing to market a product that would ruin him personally. He was most agitated. He activated my assassination protocol and instructed me to kill all those responsible for the competing product. I proceeded to carry out my order. Wait, tell me about this assassination protocol. Information. This HK-47 unit is complete with protocol that, when invoked, will set me to independently carry out a termination. I will go to whatever lengths, travel whatever distances are required to complete the termination. This is the reason for my combat skills. Advisement. Unfortunately, the assassination oh, protocol bad. is currently non-functional. You will not be able to activate it. Why not? Answer. Several of my actuators were damaged by my former owner. They cannot be repaired, Master. Sad though that is. My former master was unaware of this, but the competitor was in fact an arm of SizeTech Corporation, my master's own employer. It did not take long for my master to realize his mistake. By then, I had already terminated 104 corporate officers. <laughs> so he set you upon his own company. Observation. While it may have been unintentional, my master's wording of his orders left little room for me. SizeTech was responsible for the product, after all. I do not know why my master was so upset, really. He was an officer of SizeTech and a potential target, but I cannot terminate my own master. I would assume that being the sole officer remaining, he would surely be promoted. Instead, however, the human chose to go insane with rage and attack me. And that's when you killed him? Objection? Naturally not, master. As I said, I am incapable of purposefully terminating my owner. 
That would not be allowed. My master was not a smart man, however. While he was screaming and stabbing me with a writing utensil, he managed to pierce one of my actuators. The resulting shock terminated him and sadly destroyed my assassination protocol. Pure luck on his part, I suspect. Well, it was his own fault. Statement. I was only doing as I was told, Master. I would have told the human the proper codes to deactivate my protocol, had he asked. I shut down immediately whenever my master dies. I can only assume that while I was shut down, Size Tech was dismantled and I was auctioned off as former corporate property. Observation. No doubt my sale price was quite cheap, leading to Yukalaka's purchase. How very demeaning. Just glad I acquired you myself. Observation. So am I, Master. Though I apologize for not having an assassination mode to offer you. Do you recover any more memories? I have recovered knowledge of some other actuators which will enhance my performance, Master. I will activate them now. But as for my own history, negative. It will require further effort on your part to restore them, if you wish. Though certain stimuli could always restore my core still, as I explained. For now, please excuse me, Master. I wish to meditate upon the face of my former meatbag master as he was electrocuted. I find it most soothing. Because of your repairs, HK47 now has a permanent bonus of plus 2 to his dexterity. Okay, let's check. Check the journal. Successfully tampering with HK47 memory core has recovered the droid's memory of the most recent owner. The discussion of the owner companies and actioning of its assets must be how HK47 ended up in the droid shop on Tatooine. How the droid got to the executive, however, is unknown. Objection. Worn out? Listen, you talentless organic meatbag. One word from my master and I will pull you apart, limb from useless limb. I have always been hostile. Now that I need no longer rely on you and your primitive maintenance skills, I do not need to hide it. What do you have in stock besides droids? Show me what you have. Advanced ray. Let's see if he has something good. Plus for demolition, maybe. Let's buy this plus for demolition. Yeah. Ready. Fits. Open proficiency, open focus, Buster rifle, class 2, droid, skills, demolition. How much mission now? 19. Master? Hmm? Objection. Warn. I. Goodbye. Query. Can I kill him now, Master? I would like ever so much to crush his neck. Just a little. It is a long time fantasy of mine. Maybe later. You hear that meat bag? I will be back. <laughs> I love him. Okay, let's, Statement. let's try to repair him more. Is ready to serve. Let's repair him more. I like to store some of your memory. Affirmative. Request. I only ask that you... Okay, let's get started. Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the simple one, and that is accessing my central control cluster. This may take a while. First, you will need to open three panels. And now rewire the last three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have recovered information on my owner previous to the commercial officer master. Intriguing. What's so intriguing? Statement. 
It appears that my previous owner was a human senator on the planet Coruscant, a man of importance who obviously appreciated quality craftsmanship. Did the senator know about your assassination function? Answer. It does not seem so, Master. No. He required a protocol droid only and wanted one as cheaply as possible. I do not know who sold me to him. I do remember that I was very pleased to be the property of a senator. One of his assistants discovered my assassination functions later through questioning. The assistant was quite alarmed and told the senator I should be scrapped quickly to avoid a scandal. Naturally, the senator had me eliminate the fool. Sounds like my kind of guy. Observation. I rather like the human myself. For a meat bag, his priorities were in the right place. I felt most useful. I was most proud to have partaken in the political system of the galaxy. During the time my owner possessed me, he gained significant rank. Given time, I believe he could have become Chancellor. I even eliminated a few key opponents that he did not ask for. Freebies, if you will. You can do that? Answer. Certainly. Why not? I am an intelligent droid, you know. I see an opportunity, and I take it. And my master was most pleased with my work. Observation. I think he would have done far better had he not allowed his use of me to become personal. He set me on his wife. And why would he do that? Answer. I am unsure. The human was most agitated and angry. I believe his wife had done something that had displeased him greatly. I was to go to their summer estate and terminate his wife, along with whatever male companion I discovered there. So his wife was cheating on him. Statement. I have no idea, Master. Cheating seems to be a relevant term only when one is caught in the act. Otherwise, it is viewed as intelligence. No? I journeyed to the southern continent, but it appeared my master was not far behind me. Apparently, he regretted his activation of the protocol. When I found the wife and her companion, I proceeded to launch my attack. But my master interposed his own body and was destroyed. It was rather a strange meatbag thing to do, do you not agree? Naturally, I shut myself down, my master being terminated. Well, it appears he got a conscience at the end. Observation. I find that unlikely. Perhaps he was more concerned that the death of his wife would be more likely traced back to him. Have you recovered? So that's two after two master skills. Observation. Killed. Only so far, master. There are still more memories not recovered, remember? What happened to you then? Statement. I believe the senator's wife was unsure what I was or what to do with me. It was she who sold me to the corporate officer, an acquaintance. Have you recovered any more memories? Answer. As previously, I have found a few more programs which will enhance my performance. A most gratifying discovery, in fact. There is still nothing from previous memories uncovered. You will have to operate again if you desire to find them. With luck, oh, I, I will discover the stimulus to unlock my core, and all this will be unnecessary. I do thank you for the attempt, however, Master. Because of your good pairs, HQ-47 now has a permanent bonus to plus 2 to defense rating, in addition to the plus 2 dexterity bonus from your earlier pairs. Okay, yeah. so... He has plus 2 intelligence, plus 3 dexterity, plus 3 strength, plus 1 wisdom. 29. Nice. Huh? Master? Hmm? Okay. Let's see yeah. what, what the journal has to say. HK47. Memories of HK47 owner appear to the corporate executive have been recovered. The death of the, that owner shut HK47 down and eventually his wife unwittingly sold the droid to the executive how the center required HK-47 is unknown
I'm here. Okay, let's talk to him a bit. I want to repair him more. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. I would like to restore some of your memory. Affirmative. Request. Let's get started. Statement. As you wish, Master. You are already familiar with accessing my central control cluster, correct? Now you will need to... And now rewire the last three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have accessed information on my owner prior to the Senator, Master. Most unexpected. What now? Answer. It appears that previous to my ownership by the Senator, I was the property of one Bochaba the Hutt on the planet Slaheron. Very interesting. So, you were a gangster assassin droid. Statement. So it appears, Master. A rather suitable occupation, would you not agree? I agree. My memories tell me that, for a time, Bochaba was one of the most feared gangsters on Slaheron. I helped him with this reputation greatly. Over a span of one year, I terminated a grand total of 322 sentient meat bags. These contracts made Bochaba very wealthy. You sound proud of that carnage. Answer. That is correct, Master. I do enjoy my work. Though my past owners have enjoyed utilizing my functions far more. Strictly speaking, one meat bag is the same as another. Anything I do is in support of my master. It was unfortunate but inevitable that eventually Bochaba would overstep his bounds. I had just cleared two hut households when the exchange retaliated. Statement. I was not even present when my old master was assassinated. I did appreciate the artistry behind his demise upon my return, however. Why? How was he killed? Answer. Allow me to say that I have little doubt that residents of that sector were fishing pieces of Bochaba out of their soup for weeks afterward. At any rate, I quickly shut down upon my master's death. The rival hut claimed me along with my master's other possessions. Observation. If that hut had only known my true function, he surely would not have sold me to a senator he bribed regularly. You would have pre preferred to stay in Slayhaven? Observation. It would have suited my character, Master. I have enjoyed my existence since, more or less. So, I do not miss it. You would have been found out eventually. Observation. No doubt, Master. It would have been a glorious battle to end my existence with. I would prefer that to rusting on a junk heap. Do you remember anything else? Answer. Negative, Master. There is still more memory that can be restored, however, if you wish to try. As well, I, I believe I can restore several programs the hut installed to improve my performance. Yes, they are now active, contemplative. I wonder how many more dead Masters I might have out there. A droid can live for a long time. Because of your repairs, HK-47 will now regenerate at a rate of 1 vitality point every 6 seconds in addition to his other abilities. Very good. I like him, he's my favorite character. The voice acting is amazing and is very brilliant, brilliantly written. It appears that Pierre to the Senator HK-47 was owned by a feared gangster on Slaheron known as Bochaba the Hutt. After Bochaba died, another gangster apparently sold the droid to the center. HK-47 wasn't built in Slaheron, however, so how he came into the heart's possession is unknown. Okay, let's talk again. I'll try to repair him. Statement. Eight. Want, uh, want to repair you? Affirmative. Request. Let's get started. Statement. As you wish, Master. You are already familiar with accessing my central control cluster, correct? Now you will need to... And now rewire the last three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. 
I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have recovered the last of my deleted memory, Master. Unfortunately, my history is still not complete. What? Why not? Answer. As I did inform you, Master, the majority of my memory is still locked within my core. That can only be accessed by the appropriate stimuli. And I have no idea what that stimuli might be, unfortunately. Sadly, it seems my true origins will always be a mystery. You're eager to find your origins, are you? Query. Wouldn't you be master? Here I am, surrounded by all these meat bags, and all I desire is true perfection. Surely there are more droids like me out there. Or is that too much to hope? Well... Objection. Oh, fine. Laugh at me, master. Humiliate your pet droid. Go ahead. So tell me about the last owner. Correction. That would actually be my first owner, master. The first I can remember. I had completed an assassination in Mandalorian space. Though I have no knowledge of what my target was, or who sent me. Regardless. My motor function had been damaged, and I could not return to wherever I had been sent from. A Mandalorian soldier claimed me as Booty, I believe. Booty. He repaired me, poorly, I might add, and proceeded to use my assassination protocol to raise his rank. It appears no one could resist using a protocol. Query, do you not have enemies that you would desire eliminated, Master? If my protocol still worked, would you not use it? I suppose I would. It's that. Statement. See, I provide a function that is useful to others. They merely must learn to use it properly, I believe. At any rate, it seems that my Mandalorian owner finally decided to send me against Mandalore himself. My poorest performance, sadly. Oh, why is that? Answer. I was captured by this Mandalore during the attempt. He was able to reverse my programming and send me after my own master. It was quite distressing. There was little I could do. Needless to say, I dispatched the Mandalorian soldier efficiently. Once I deactivated, I believe I eventually ended up on the black market and was sold to the hut on Slahero. <sighs> My darkest day. So... You couldn't kill Mandalore, eh? Statement. With all due respect, Master, he is the leader of the Mandalorians. Perhaps my old master was foolish to send me after him. So can you remember anything else? So you killed that master directly? Statement. So I did. I am not very proud of that master. The soldier seemed very startled, I must say. So you couldn't kill Mandalore? You can remember anything else? Answer. There are a few Mandalorian implants that I can activate now. They will improve my performance. Beyond that, Master, there is nothing more I can relate to you. Good luck. We will discover the stimulus to unlock my core very soon. Because of the repairs, 8K47, we now regenerate at a rate of 1 vitality point every 3 seconds, and has gained an additional plus 2 to this to his dexterity. Yeah? Ready! Very nice. 30. Defense. Plus 10, 21. Very good. I like him. HQ-47. Parallel to the heart, it appears that HQ-47 was owned by a Mandalorian soldier. This is the last of HQ-47 retrievable memories. However, it seems that the chain is still not complete. HQ-47 had been on an assassination mission in Mandalore space when he was damaged, but does not know who had originally sent him. Unless the stimuli to restore his deeper core is discovered, the details may never be known. I'm here. Oh, I think I will discover them, eventually. 
Let's talk to Isis. Could you be clearer? I'm having trouble to understand in you. Statement. It is doubtful he can be clearer. Their language is difficult even for droids. He is using a trade language to try and help. Why wouldn't I understand your true language? What is it you want, Java? HK, can you help me out here? Translation. 98% probability that members of the Miniature Organics tribe are being held by Sand People Master. Doubtless, he wishes assistance. What about the two the, the other two percent? Translation. Two percent probability that the Miniature Organic is simply looking for trouble and needs to be blasted. <laughs> that may be wishful uh, thinking on my part, Master. That's funny. So, Isis, what do you want me to do? Okay, you want me to rescue his, uh, his brethren. Tell me about those, those that came before. I'll accept payment if you do this, if I do this, Java. Okay, another side quest. Let's go out. No one leaves Anchorhead without proper authorization. I have proper authorization. Well, let's see it. Come on. Here it is. All right. I'll just scan that and you're off. I'll keep it on file, too. Good luck out there. You'll need it. <laughs> Okay. Hello there. You're heading out into the desert? You're a hunter, right? You must be if you've been allowed to leave Anchorhead. When you see Tannis, and I know you know him, tell him his wife hopes he enjoys the anniversary gift. Anniversary gift? What are you talking about? Just a little something to remember me by. Something that symbolizes our years together. Something that will blow up in his face. Of course, he'll never understand how appropriate it is. He can't talk his way out of this one. He's not smart enough. Mm, Alright, what if he has a message for you? <laughs> you? You sound like you're planning to kill him. Oh, I'm through planning. I just left him a little mess that he has to take care of. If he's smart, he'll be just fine. But he's not smart. I have to go. I'm sure you do. Like I said, when you see him, tell him his wife Marlena says hello. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy wife. Okay. Yes. Check the desert. Explore the desert. The dunes. Okay. And, and you get attacked by... Sand people. Okay, so HK. Why can't ah HK use what does he have? Droid shield disruptor. Want to use one? Yes. Use some affliction. Damn. Wow, this is strong, man. Super strong. Why is it so strong? Fuck. Oh. 
kicking my ass. Let's use some um, advanced repair. Let's use some um, daisy. Your maximum. Ooh, fuck. Man, that's embarrassing. Okay. Hello there. When you Huh? Let's use some. Let's use Ready. some. Shields. What? And let's use the lower and melee shield. And eternal electricity, eternal stamina, eternal strength. Let's use some drugs, shall we? These sand people are so fucking tough. Man. Ambush me. Okay, mission. Use some of this. HK. Use shield disruptor. And I. Ouch! Ouch! Fuck! Okay, let's use some utility items. Let's use advanced med pack. Let's use wood. And let's use affliction. So fucking tough. What? They're so strong, these sand people. Let's teleport back to the Ebon Hawk and teleport again. I got an idea. Let's use another. Let's replace mission with Johnny. Your At least she can have some healing powers. Wish what? Okay, before I go do this, let's save. Vienna Chan nineteen. Thank you. 
Thank you very much for joining me. We'll continue this on the next episode. See you then. Bye bye.